Hello everyone, it's Stephanie. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing a tour of my art studio and craft room. And thank you so much for the request and I'm sorry it's taken so long. I know I've been promising this for years, but every time I about had a room ready to share, it was time to move to another state so or another house. And if you love art supplies and craft supplies like I do, then I hope to share some inspiration of how to store those things. I'm a minimalist in terms of only keeping what I love and only keeping what truly brings me joy. I'm going to go ahead and pan around my room. So this is my room. And hopefully the lighting is going to be okay. I'm sure I'll have to close my windows at some point. We get quite a bit of birds and wildlife, which I love so much. And so they might get loud. I think I'll start over here with the craft items. I have a shelf and I have all of my pretty much non-light fast mediums in here. This is a shelf I purchased at Hobby Lobby many years ago. And I just keep random things I use for hand lettering and that kind of thing. And I have my um, chalk markers that Chalk Cola sent me and uh, acrylic markers. I mostly use those in the kitchen, but I do use them in my craft room as well. So I keep them in here. Um, this is, I think, the last card that I made. <laughs> um, this, like, interactive and everything. It took hours and hours, but I think that's the last card that I made because I've just been so obsessed with art supplies lately. I have my zigs. Um, yeah, I really like this because I can just grab whatever I need and then put it back easy. And then down here, I have my Distress Oxide inks. I just have them on this little tiered tower. I'm sure I purchased this at Home Goods. A lot of things in my craft room are things that I, how I organize my pantry, and I love them so much that I moved them in here. Uh, but I love, it's not, it's wood, it's pretty. Also has a handle so I can take the whole thing to my table if I need to. I added the Lazy Susan just to make it super easy to turn around and find which color I wanted. Uh, I got the Lazy Susan on Amazon. Please open up the description box if you'd like to know where I purchased anything. And I will try to have the links below. And then here I have this letter tray. I've It's supposed to go upright, but I had laid it down because then it keeps my paper from curling. And I have my Misty's down here. And my Nina Solar Right cardstock. I have my Gemini plates under here, but they're not very pretty. So I keep them covered with all of my watercolor scraps. I have a little hedgehog that's a tape dispenser that I'm using for my washi and I just I love animals so I think that's really cute. And then here I have my Cricut. This spot is kind of changes back and forth between my Scan and Cut and the Cricut. I have the Cricut here because at the moment I'm kind of obsessed with I just discovered how to make stickers for my watercolor palettes and magnets, that kind of thing. I'm doing that, having a lot of fun doing that with my daughter. I've had this Cricut for many years and didn't you really use it very much. It has onboard storage, so, and it, it's a very pretty machine, so. Um, on the floor, I don't, I, I really don't like these being on the floor, but they're just so big, big and bulky, so I didn't know what else to do with them. So they're over here. And then I can grab them when I use them and keep them out of the way when I don't. It's my um, my glass mat, uh, my protective mats, and my paper cutter. Behind the door, I have some like backgrounds and uh, cutting mats, that kind of thing. Random things that are useful, but I can't find a way to make pretty, so I've just kind of tucked them behind the door so I don't have to look at them. This is how I've been storing my stamps. Um, through all of our many, I think we've had like eight or ten moves across the country. I had started storing, um, doing craft storage. I use those cubes from Michaels that everyone uses. And the Ikea shelving. Um, the cubes didn't always make it so well, and they were so big and bulky that I did finally donate those, but the, sh the drawers are... Still perfectly good. I love using those for my uh, stamp storage. All of the regular size stamps fit really well. And then I keep these stamp pockets with one of the backings. I just use these envelopes. I'll link them below. I can't remember the, what they're called. Not only does it kind of label my stamp drawers, I also, it's an envelope. So it actually, I store all of my pre-cut, pre-colored images. And it also blocks all of the sun, which, because the sun will turn the stamps yellow. So I have all of my lawn fawn. And then here I have my, my favorite things. And I always just keep 
I generally keep my um, favorite sets. I love foxes, so this is one of my favorite sets ever. And I just keep those in the front. I'm still storing them in the same original pockets that I purchased back in like 2012. Uh, they're actually, they're Anna Griffith embossing folders. I do love them, but they're just so hard to find. I wouldn't, I can't recommend them anymore. If I had it to do over, I would use the Tim Holtz storage pockets that I use for my dies. I wish he made them without the holes, but they are perfect and they're very easily accessible. I have all of my favorite um, waffle flower that I love, my uh, Sunny Studios, Mama Elephant, Trinity. I just kind of um, try to keep them with the brand. Design team stamps, and uh, this is mostly stamps that have been sent to me unless it's already in another bin because I really like to keep the brands together. Um, and then here I have all of my, um, it's mostly floral stamps like uh, my Gina K that I love so much or Honeybee, Altenew. So uh, uh, the labels I'm using are actually made for pantry storage. I was using them in my North Carolina pantry. We moved here and our pantry here is much smaller. So I had a bunch left over of the labels. So it's great to label them. Use chalk markers to write the names. Over here, I have all my dies stored in the same basket. And then down here in this basket is my paper. Then over here, I have a little bookshelf. Let's see, I guess we'll start down here. Tray. It's a little tray that I found at Home Goods, and it fits in there perfect. And it has handles on the side, so I can easily just take it out and take it to my work table. So I put any new purchases or items that are sent to me for review and that kind of thing. I generally wait till it's full, whether it's a month or three months. <laughs> then I try to share any products that are still relevant. So, and then above that, I have another tray that's smaller and. That holds my Gemini Junior and the cord and everything. And then I can just take that whole tray to my work table when I need it. And then here I have another tray. This is one of my new finds. I had been looking everywhere for something pretty to display some of my smaller watercolor sets and pencil sets. I think it's actually made for makeup or jewelry or something like that. But it's beautiful, it's gold, and it's glass. And so I absolutely love it. So, but I, here I'm keeping some of my. Um, favorite like uh, watercolor palettes and just the little ones that these are ones that are so pretty that just looking at them makes me happy and then I love having these little sets because these are what I grab and go use picking up my son from school or coloring in the living room that kind of thing so I have lots of my little favorite sets most of them I loved enough to buy the full set but I love these little sets so this shelf is the Ikea, I think it's called the Kallax that everyone has. I keep my watercolor pencils on this file folder and my regular color pencils on that one. Over here I have most of my water soluble mediums and I put them in this, I think this is actually made for books or file folders. So I have these in here because I really do like to keep these boxes, even if like this one is empty. Um, I love these pencils so much. I had, I did have to get the full set. So they're in a case, but I don't know if I'm going to change my mind. And honestly, it makes me happy just to look at the case. So I keep them whether they're empty or not. And then some of my items I still keep in the actual container. Like I haven't taken these out yet. Um, but I'm kind of testing the waters to see if I use them more in the case or in the box. So, but I love having this file because it keeps them separate full up. Over here, I have another shelf that, that I purchased many years ago at Hobby Lobby. On the top, I have a basket that's full of craft things that I don't use that often, um, colored pencil necessities, and then um, art things that aren't very pretty. So I just cover them with that pretty tin from Sennelier uh, from all those test sample packs. And then here I store all of my Dr. P.H. Martin Radiant watercolors. And this is holding all of my Dr. P.H. Martin, the Hydrus watercolors. And I think this is a jewelry plate, uh, but I'm using it to store my favorite glass dip pen that I use for 
calligraphy and mostly trying out fountain pen inks. Uh, pen that I'm using daily right now, which is this Estabrook, uh, the, es the Edison pen that I love, but it's not fitting in the case that I have all the rest of my fountain pens in. Some of my items that are just a little too long to fit in my pen case. And then over here, I have some of my favorite colored pencils. Um, this being, of course, my favorite new love. Um, I want to warn you that this, it stores all of them perfect except for this one because it's indenting my box a little bit. It's not doing it so much on that, but it breaks my heart a little that it's indenting it here. But I love the storage so much that I'm just going to deal with it. This is holding some of my favorite colored pencils. Here I have some of my watercolor palettes. I have them stored on this desk set. It's meant to hold paper and office supplies, but I loved it because it's gold and it's metal. And I purchased it last January. So I don't know if it's available anymore, but if, if it's still available, I will link it below. But I love it because it's stackable, so I can get as many as I want. And see, it doesn't slide around too much. It's very sturdy, but it's flexible because I can slide it forward. I can take this whole thing off if I want to get to the back row. And then I've been really loving it. They have a little metal edge that makes them stackable. And then they have little feet to protect your work surface. Um, but it did come with many accessories for desks like pencil holders and notepad holders that I have used to organize some of my favorite palettes. And I just use them all different random ways. <laughs> so I really love to store all my Schminkas, my Sennelier, Daniel Smith, uh, Rembrandt, all of them together. And it just, it makes it so easy just to grab them and put them back. Um, but yet it, to me, doesn't look very cluttery. <laughs> so I've been loving that. Down below, I have these racks from Ikea. And I can't remember what they were called, but they were just over on the, next to the shelves where they sell the shelves. They're just little gold wire basket. They really let you use more of the whole shelf. They are very useful because for me, I really like things to be easy to get out and then easy to put away. Uh, that's key for me. So I have some of my favorite uh, dot charts and I keep these little, I know I shared this with you guys before, but I keep these little portfolios because it makes it perfect to keep all of your dot charts and color charts. I, I really love the storage because uh, I can keep all the pigment information, um, everything that I need to grab often. I have one of these for most of my watercolor brands. There's more in the cabinet, but these are the ones I'm currently reaching for the most. And then down here, I have this old drawer that I got at Hobby Lobby. Currently, it's being used to hold some of my older sketchbooks. Books. And uh, yeah, I, I used to love to swatch in here. Uh, some of my older um, artwork that I played around with. It's good to go back and see your progress and everything. And then in here, I have some more watercolors like my M. Graham, my White Knights, uh, Magello. This is how I'm keeping all of my tubes of Magello. Down there, I have some of my favorite art books and favorite paper pads. And then on the bottom shelf, I, I have more sketchbooks and then extra little watercolor pads. And then I have some fun um, dot cards um, that I need to try or send out to friends. On the next shelf, I have my collection of shimmery paints, my um, all of my fine texts. And then up here, this is where I'm storing all of my kind of gold and shimmery paints and um, all those type of things. My I have my um, White Knights in this bamboo, and my Schminka, and then my Rembrandt special effects. Um, have all of my kind of a shimmery fine text and that kind of paint. And then down below is my Hemi Gouache. Then on this wire shelf, I'm storing my palette to hold my water that um, I think this is beautiful. I honestly don't use it enough, but I think it's absolutely beautiful, so I have it there. Here I have all of my um, oil pastels. This is probably soft pastels that I 
they're too small, so I don't keep it with the rest of my pastels. Um, here I have my, my uh, iridescence oil pastels, as well as my Holbein gouache. I just keep that all stacked up. And then here I have all of my oil sticks in a larger size. I think I would use them more if they were smaller, but I uh, do love these. I keep them in a silverware caddy because then I can group them with the colors. And luckily with these, once they dry, they they have a film over them. But then once they're dry, they don't, um, you, you know, nothing comes off. So they won't contaminate each other. But this is actually a silverware caddy that I did purchase at Home Goods, And so I love it. I can just take this out, take this whole thing to my work table, and I'm good to go. And it's beautiful in wood. And uh, this one is full of my, what's this brand? Shiva or Shiva. So really easy to get to. And then here I have some of my uh, favorite gouache, Holbein and Schmincke, um, and some different like masking fluid, that kind of thing. And down here I have my most used, um, most used ink pads, like my uh, Gina K for no line coloring and that kind of thing. And then for water coloring, the Versafine. Uh, down here I have extra craft supplies that I obviously don't use her often. And then down there I have my Cricut supplies. I have all good intentions of using it with my daughter one day to make t-shirts and that kind of thing. And then down here, this is another makeup organizer. I believe it came with the drawer system. But I love storing my little ink samples in here. Uh, my little swatches, all the things make it look reasonably pretty and organized and um, be, still be able to find it to be able to use it. So, and then I have um, two more back here. I'm not sure if these are lipstick holders or nail polish holders, but uh, they might be the same. And then I just keep them on the shelf so they're easy to find. I have them just grouped, grouped by color, of course. They're a lot of fun. Down here I have some of my favorite notebooks and journals. I have um, I have my favorite traveler's notebook, the Chic Sparrow. And then back here I have more notepads. More so this is just an old makeup pouch and it has some of my other like pen things that um, I try to keep all like uh, cartridges and some odd um, lollipops from Googly Pen. These are little tins, little converters, and uh, random cartridges. Down here, I'm storing my um, my laptop, and then I have my my distress inks that I'm still storing in this um, old container that uh, is no longer available. And then down here, this is all full of. Um, craft supplies like gemstones and that kind of thing. Um, I keep a binder, color charts for my colored pencils. Uh, I have my sequins and then I have my Copic refills. And here I have all of my uh, Louis Vuitton planners uh, that I used to love to collect so much. Most of them were gifts from my husband and I use them for all different ways. I use them for planners or wallets or different things like that. Um, this is a little ceramic. It was a creamer and it's a fox and I love foxes. I bought this on Amazon and I used it for many things from holding watercolor brushes because it has a little hole in the back. It's currently holding all my hair ties. Uh, and then I keep all the boxes because not only were they gifts, but they're very useful. Pen, stickers, and stuff like that. Um, and also I have a box back there that holds my ribbons. Uh, because I use those for making planner clips. Here is where I store my collection of Filofax planners. This is what I started with. And then at the very back, I have my most practical. <laughs> this is probably my most practical as a zipper. It's perfect for my budget because I we follow a Dave Ramsey-ish plan. We do use credit cards because I and not turning those credit card rewards down because that's how I get most of my expensive supplies for free. Back here, I have a little cubby 
a little storage box that stores more planner accessories. I have like little um, dash, little dashboards and stuff that I've made out of wrapping paper. And then here I have this little, um, I've essentially made it like a little drawer to keep more planner clips from uh, clips that I've ordered on Etsy. And here is how I'm keeping my uh, happy planners. And I keep them in this little, it's the same acrylic, it's a little acrylic uh, organizer. I believe it's for, um, what's it for? Eyeshadows. But it's perfect because I can keep them all, uh, pull them out when I need them, and then it keeps them separated so they don't all topple over when I go to get one. Here I have, this was a magazine holder that came with one of the desk sets that I purchased. Um, this holds all my pen cleaning equipment that <laughs> doesn't look very pretty. And this is holding my foil quill that I still need to use. In this basket I have all my planning supplies. Over here I have this tote that was sent to me from Molly Ollie. And I'm keeping like a lot of my like uh, drawings and um, um, different uh, just kind of things I'm working on. I have some stored decorative storage boxes that hold some microfiber cloths and um, random paper pads. I tried to play with alcohol inks and didn't know what to do with it. So I tried to make like a mission statement kind of a thing. And then here is part of my kind of a color station. In this basket, I keep all of my um, swatch charts for um, all different watercolors. Most of my artwork is like back here because I only care about it when I'm making it. A lot of times I really don't even finish. I just kind of, I just love to play. Here are my beautiful wooden boxes. The, I have the light fast that my husband got me for Christmas last year. And then I was able to find some really, really good like closeout clearance deals at uh, Colt Pens. And then, um, so down here I have uh, some of my colored pencils in the pouches. Kind of 50-50 right now. Some of them I have in the cases and some of them I can't take out of the box. But like, I love the little designs. Like this one um, is so cute. It has whales. And so of course that's what I have my favorite Castell watercolor pencils. And then the great thing about them is I keep this little, I think it's an earbud case. And that's what I keep a pencil sharpener in. Over here, I have, as you can see, the wire shells with my watercolors, and I'll tell you about that in a second when we get closer. So then here is my lovely cabinet. So first I have uh, this tiered metal tray. I think they have something similar on Amazon, and if I can find that, I'll link that below. Again, I've added a Lazy Susan because I think it looks pretty, but also it just makes it super practical to be able to spin and find all the inks. These are the really pretty dye mine inks that I just think are just like works of art. They're like a perfume bottle. They're so pretty. So um, lots of different inks that I love. And then over here I have more of my dye mine. Uh, some of my favorite inks. And then these little ones. Mont Blanc inks. I really don't know if those are any better than other inks yet, but they're pretty. It's all ink stored, kind of brand by brand, Pilot inks. Then over here on this wire basket, I have some of my other lovely, oh, these aren't these so pretty. These are the, these are the lovely J. Urban fountain pen inks, and they all have glimmer in them. They're so pretty. Um, they're just like a work of art all by themselves, and they're shimmery and pretty. Uh, so my Pelican inks. Here I have some of my beautiful leather pouches from... Schminka. I think this might have been like the 2017 and then this was last year's and uh, they were Black Friday deals from Jackson's Art Supply. Mm -hmm. And here is my watercolor storage. Here's how I've been storing my watercolors that I absolutely love. Um, I started this three years ago when we were in North Carolina. I didn't put them all up. I started with like 10 to see how I like it of my favorites of each brand. And then when we moved here, I, I knew I loved it. So I put up my whole set, my whole glorious sets of, uh, of Sennelier and uh, Schminka. And I love having them in the rainbow order. To me, it's just so satisfying to see them all in the rainbow order. 
It's like, it's so pretty, but look at this. It's so practical because these are wire racks that I got on Amazon. I don't know if they're still available. They are, I'll have them linked. They come with the little, uh, little wall attached hook things that they're not too pretty. So I try to hide them, but it made it so easy to hang on the wall, <laughs> take it down when we moved and, and then put it right back up. And yeah, so I'm keeping all of the colors like that. Um, I just have them on one of these jumbo clips and then you just put them back there. And so it's really easy and it was really affordable. I love when I come up with an idea that's practical, but also very pretty and it doesn't look too cluttery for me. It's like a work of art as it is, but then it's so functional. And that is just, I get all giddy about that. And then here I have my Karen Dosh set of luminance. I haven't touched this because it's just so gorgeous but um, I, I do love having it and I really never thought I would get this but again Colt Pens just had an amazing sale and it made it less than it was to get the cardboard box. Here is my gorgeous Holbein set that I was lucky enough to get on Amazon Japan during the pandemic and I um yeah I <laughs> I'm so glad I got that um, before because the prices here are just insane now. And I don't know if they're worth it now, but I absolutely love my whole line and love those. Down here I have my wooden boxes for watercolors. Back in the back is how I'm storing my Daniel Smith and any White Knights and any that don't, I don't have a pretty wooden box to store them in yet. Very useful and very affordable are the Jackson's Art um, watercolor boxes. And here's another Civil War Caddy. It has little felt feet on it so it won't damage my gorgeous um, Sennelier box. That, uh, down there I have more of my water charts and some uh, palettes, extra papers. That kind of thing. And here I have some of my favorite large ceramic um, palettes. And this is how I store my other watercolor tubes. These are plastic acrylic cases. I think they were made to hold ink pads. They didn't fit on my IKEA shelf, but mostly I didn't like the noise that it made when I took my stamp pads in and out. So it made a screeching sound that drove me insane. So I couldn't waste them, so I decided they fit all of my watercolor tubes perfect. And that way I can keep them organized and keep them easy to find, but easy to put away. I used up all of those, the extras that I have, and especially the neutrals, because I don't find I reach for the neutrals as much, and they're not as pretty on the wall to me. And down there is random craft supplies and items I don't tend to reach for too much. Oh, here's where I store my pastels, uh, my beautiful um, Schmincke wooden box set, and uh, Sennelier. I, you know, keep them in these. Uh, this is a um, old paper holder that I wasn't using anymore, so it's perfect to store all of them. And then they're not stacked on top, so they're really easy to get in and out. And then over here, I have some more art supplies. Down at the bottom, I have a old tool turnabout full of. Um, random things that I don't reach for very often. My cinch and my fixative that I'm sure is an excellent product, but I hate using fixatives. Over here I have a little cart and this is mostly full of products that Arteza has sent to me over the years. Uh, this is a cart that my kids are welcome to use whenever they want. Then up here I have some more watercolor palettes, some of my, um, majority of this is student grade, but not all of them. They're, I have the um, White Knights and my gorgeous Roman Schmal. Started putting all of my palettes over here because they were student grade, but then I really just started keeping them here because they're all pastel pretty palettes and I love seeing them all together because the colors are so pretty. I also have my original Daniel Smith palette that it still makes me so happy to see this. I love this palette when I first got it when I thought I wouldn't change my mind on which color I want to use. And then over here is actually my work table. Um, I usually have a mat to protect it. 
this is uh, where I keep all of my most reached for supplies. Some of my, my most used items here at my fingertips and um, yeah, my watercolor brushes that I want to grab really easy. I have them on this, um, another uh, Lazy Susan that um, I use these in my pantry, storing things in corners. Uh, but I had to bring one in here because then I can grab all of these and I could just take these if I go to another room. I just have them in old uh, vases, but um, yeah, here just some of my things that I reach for the most. Over here is how I am currently storing my Copic markers and I love these. These again are silverware caddies that I purchased at Home Goods, but I love them because what I do, they have this metal hanger. And then, so when I go to use it, I just set it up like that. And then they are down, ready for me to grab and use. But then it's, to me, pretty and decorative for when they're not in use, which is equally as important to me. <laughs> so um, I, I could only find two, but, so I can't put the grays in here. Um, the grays don't really bring me any joy to look at anyway, so I'm totally okay with that. 